Hello and welcome to Selenium CSS Selector Tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to talk about how you can identify or create a CSS selector for the web element which has the class attribute. Now, in CSS selector, if any web element on your web page uh, or the application that you are testing has the class attribute, you can use the class attribute details in the CSS selector. And as we have discussed in the previous tutorial that for the ID attribute, right, for if a web element has an ID attribute, you can use the ID attribute to identify the web element. And there was a symbol hash that was utilized to identify the ID. Right, so you can simply say the tag name hash, which uh, which symbolizes the ID and the value of the ID. Similarly, for the class attribute, you have the symbol, which is dot. Okay, so class is represented by dot, and ID is represented by hash. So th this are the two important thing to remember in CSS selector that whenever you're using ID, you can either use the very basic syntax that we have discussed in the first instance here, that you can specify ID is equal to and then the uh, the value in the quotes there, or you can simply just say hash and the value of the ID. And for the class attribute, you can simply say the tag name dot, because dot symbolizes the class and the value of the class. Now let's go ahead and understand this in the actual web page so i'll go to the salesforce developers page and here let's identify or inspect this last uh, text box so i'll right click click on inspect uh, please remember that i have i've used chrome to inspect the web elements on this page right and now you can see here that this has the class attribute okay but there the value is let me refresh this page because I don't want the error to be represented there. So now you can see the class, the value of the class is text field, right? So I'll just say control uh, F if it is Windows or command F uh, in this particular window here in the element section. And you will see that this console has opened or the search box has opened. So in order to identify the element with a class i'll start with the tag name so the tag for this particular element is input right so html tag is input so you can just say input and then in order to specify the class the symbol is dot so once you say dot then you can specify the value of that particular class for this particular element so the value of this particular element was, let me inspect again, uh, the class value is text field, okay? So I'll simply say text field, right? So with this particular class, you can see that it has selected the web element, but it has selected six web elements there. So what this means is, there are six web element in this particular page if you see here if i just say next you can see that there are six input uh six web elements with the tag input or type text and have the same class name which is the text field so you cannot identify this sort of web element uniquely if the class name is same for multiple web elements and in those sort of scenarios you have to combine multiple attributes to identify these elements now just to show you that you can identify the web element with a class i'll use some other um, web element maybe i'll just use the sign me up let's see if this button has the class attribute yes it does have the class attribute so instead of using the other text box i'll use this particular web element and see if the class is unique so input and the class name was sign up yep so now you can see it is only one web element one of one has been selected 
which has the unique class name sign up right so this is the class name here if you see and that's what we have used so in order to write your css selector which has the unique class attribute uh, or the value then you can just simply say the tag name dot and the value of that particular class if you want to stick to the basic syntax you can simply say input square braces and then you can simply say class is equal to in single quotes sign up and it will give you the same results okay it will select the same web element on the web page but if there is a class attribute um, the recommended css selector is to use dot for the class value right because so a dot symbolizes class and then you can simply specify the value of that class and if it is a uh, id then you simply use hash instead of dot so dot for the class name uh, or the class attribute and uh, hash for the id attribute in the css selector so these two things are very important when you are writing css selector in your selenium web automation so that's pretty much all about the css selector using class attribute hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching